Whether you love that chunky dial or the diamond studded showpiece, if you missed Watch World Awards 2012, then you missed your tryst with time. Organized by the Chitralekha Group, the third edition of Watch World Awards saw the Harry Winstons, the Carthiers, the Hublos, and the Bulgaris of the world dazzle those in attendance with their complexity, exclusivity, and design. And as for the attendance, they turned up in great numbers. From stars and celebs to connoisseurs to industry leaders, the event saw the glitterati for once being fashionably not late. But apparently that had nothing to do with being on time. For if there was one message that was loud and clear during the gala event, it was that telling time is perhaps the last thing they expect of a wristwatch. You know, it can represent two things. Especially it can represent fashion and it, and it can really represent your need. If you really wear a watch just for the need, then I think uh, that's the way to go for it. But I think today people are more conscious and wear it more for fashion. Uh, something that looks good, something that defines me and something that uh, gets me everywhere on time. A watch is the ultimate symbol of success, achievement and self gratification It's for the person himself and not for someone else. When people say that uh, I buy a watch to show it to others that I have achieved, no, that's not true. It's for the person's own self-gratification. Self-gratification indeed, asks master watchmaker Antoine Simone, and he seconds that. Something beautiful as a woman when she's young. <laughs> and the best thing in a watch is a watch older she gets, better she is. But of course, the idea cuts both ways. It is a man uh, accompanying me at all times, you know, especially when I'm uh, when I have to be someplace on my own. It's uh, it's about it's a partner to me. Nevertheless, it wasn't all that surprising to see bare hands either. I'd rather take money from people who have watches rather than just wear a watch myself. I'm going to get a watch as a gift from these people. So probably I'm going to put that on later. <laughs> I haven't got the watch. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for a gift. There's nothing there. I can do product endorsements. Even so, 11 awards in the product category and 5 awards in the marketing and merchandising category. There are only 6 awards in the world, I'm told. And uh, uh, this is a growing category. And as a market leader, we needed to uh, put a very credible and realistic award uh, which would reward the best in horology. And that's why the awards were instituted in 2010. This is the third year uh, going and I think it's gone from uh, strength to strength. The winners were selected from a list of world's leading time machines after a grueling session of jury round comprising of former cricketer Ravi Shastri, master watchmaker Antwo Simone, noted designer Priyadarshini Rao and leading image consultant Chaya Momaya. Watching some of those watches, uh, the quality of uh, stuff that was on view, the brains that went behind uh, you know, conceptualizing those ideas that were put into play, you know, in making of the watch and just the quality of watchmaking from where to where it's gone over the last 20 years, quite unbelievable. You know, I've never done this before, so it was quite a challenge when uh, I was approached with it. And, um, uh, you know, it, of course, there are, there are a lot of apprehensions. Uh, but, you know, honestly, I, mean, uh, I, I was taken through the whole process and, you know, was explained that I was bringing in what I, where I come from, which is fashion and, and understanding of design. So I'm, I'm hoping to be able to offer my aesthetic values. Um, I'm very excited because uh, this will be the first time when I'm going to be able to, you know, sift through the year's shortlisted entries and, uh, you know, being a watch lover myself. It, um, you know, it, it's really something that I'm looking forward to. When you see a new innovative design, you see a new uh, glamour, you see new style, it's so fascinating. And uh, out there you meet those different people and each one wants to tell a story to you about their particular brand or product and why is it which has gone into it. Coming up after the break, the 2012 Watch World Awards. Stay tuned.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the third edition of the prestigious Watch World Awards. To me, as for all of us gathered here, I'm sure a watch is more than just a device telling time. It is living, breathing work of art. This evening, we shall witness the best in this art form. The first set of awards we'll be giving away today are the marketing and advertising awards. The first award in this category is Best Campaign in Print. And the winner is... The winner is Timex Helix. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, the next award is for the best campaign on TV. So the winner for the best marketing campaign on television is Titan HDSC. Ladies and gentlemen, the next award is for Best In-Store Merchandise. The winner of Watch World Best In-Store Merchandise for the year 2012 is Hublot, the art of fashion to the art of merchandise. And now is the time for the Best Boutique. Let's see who our winner is right here today. Winner of Watch World Boutique of the Year 2012 is Bradley Ladies and gentlemen, for the best organized event, let's see who our winner is. The winner of Watch World Best Organized Event of the Year 2012 is Parmigiani International Balloon Festival 2012 Ladies and gentlemen with this we move on to our next category which is the product awards complications as we all know are not a very good thing in life but when it comes to watches, it is totally different. Let's see who rules the world of complications. The winner of the Watch World Award, Complicated Watch of the Year 2012, is Grable 4C GMT. features a wonderful three-dimensional temporal representation, a rotating terrestrial globe offering a truly original view of time all over the world. This technical yet poetic marvel provides us with a completely new way of perceiving different time zones. Ladies and gentlemen, watches and jewelry are the perfect match. As they say, Whatever you put inside the watch, it's the jewels outside which seal the deal for the ladies. I'm sure everyone will agree with that. The next award is for a dream on a wrist, the best jewelry watch. The winner is Bulgari Serpenti. This masterpiece features a diaphanous pink gold double wraparound structure clothed in jet black or eggshell white scales set with brilliant cut diamonds. Despite its inherent complexity, this construction ensures a perfectly smooth, supple feel on the wrist. Sports and timekeeping go hand in hand. Sports pushes technology to new limits, yet it needs to be very simple. Now let's have a look at which timepiece wins the best sports award and the winner is Google Oceanographic Photos A 
much developed for pushing the limits of what is rational and possible. It took 18 months of research, development and testing to create Oceanographic 4000, a watch that can dive to depths of 4000 meters under extreme pressure, an exceptional technical achievement. Next up, we have a very special award for an individual who has made significant contribution to the watch industry. The individual who wins this coveted award this evening has been associated with the Indian watch industry for close to three decades. Starting his career in the watchmaking industry with the Tata Watch Project, which later became Titan Watches Limited and is now Titan Industries Limited, he has handled sales and marketing, HR, international business, and general managerial assignments. Ladies and gentlemen, he is none other than Mr. Bhaskar Bhatt. Can we have a loud applause for him, please? It's truly an honor and a privilege to receive this award, which I dedicate to the commitment, competence of none less than 7,500 people at Titan, about 100,000 people from among our business associates who toil every day to bring a good product to the marketplace and to make a difference to a large number of Indians. I just sit at the top of the organization receiving these awards. So thank you, Chitraleka, for this award uh, which I dedicate to the employees and associates of this company. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And once again, congratulations to you. Well, there are still a lot of awards to be given out. This evening is truly a celebratory one. And to add to the excitement, we have someone who's surely going to leave you laughing out loud. Known as India's answer to Jay Leno, he's one of the most talented stand-up comedians in the country today. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for none other than Veer Das. Good evening, good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. My name is Veer Das. Uh, let me introduce myself to the guests who are from out of the country as well. Uh, my name is Veer Das. I was a comedian in the US. Uh, and I came back to India seven years ago for two major reasons. Number one, I'm 33 years old today and I firmly believe in my heart, I do, that India is the greatest country in the world. Do you feel that? Yes? Wonderful. That and nobody in the US could pronounce my name properly. <laughs> See, my name is very simple. It's Veer Das. Veer Das. Veer Das. The entire country of America called me weird ass. So it was time to come home. And I, it's very, very good to be here for the Watch World Awards. I, they called and said, okay, it's an award for watches and it's about wearing watches and being on time. And I said, where is the awards? And they said, Delhi. And I thought, that's ironic. What's next? Are we having a food award in Ethiopia? <laughs> no, but it is, and ladies and gentlemen, to me, watches, I don't know much about them. Watches to me are like Delhi girls. You know, they keep making me go round and round. I keep losing them. I always feel like other guys can afford better models. Moving forward, selecting a good watch is as important as selecting that well-crafted suit or that perfect dress. A watch can make or break a look. The next award is for the best